there any innovative financing structure to promote sustainability and inclusivity? Okay, um, thank you. Um, and I think first of all, it's a pleasure to have had the privilege of leading this transaction and coordinating all the parties to, to a successful outcome. Um, with respect to your question, I'll break it into two parts. Um, first, you mentioned uh, structures for sustainability, and then you mentioned uh, structures for inclusive inclusivity, right? Okay, so in terms of the first one, I think the debt capital markets in general um, supports environmental and social risk um, uh, um, structures and, and initiatives and measures, right, um, from all uh, its uh, participants. So across various um, stages in the process of bringing the transaction to market, I think from us as Tambi Capital, Capital, um, at the point of InfraCredit as well, and also at the point of you know the various investors who participated in this transaction, there would have been um, environmental and social risk assessments uh, done on the zone, and you know the way the business is sort of governed and the framework in which they used to, you know, continuously monitor you know the impact of the activities uh, on the environment. So um, I would say that you know if you look at it from that perspective, yes, um, the documentation process, the uh, packaging of the instrument process, all of that took into account um, all sorts of environmental and social risk. In terms of inclusivity, um, again, at that point, um, that is why the um, that is where we'll, we'll speak to the importance and the strength of the InfraCredit guarantee, um, because you know this is a 20-year instrument, and, and none of us here can see beyond <laughs> beyond tomorrow, right? To be honest, so when you look at it and you're looking at a 20-year transaction, for investors to have that comfort and that certainty to be able to put their money in for this development, this very important project. Uh, the strength of that guarantee from our colleagues at InfraCredit uh, is ever so important. So um, I hope the, that those um, answer your questions uh, appropriately. Thank you. All right, thank you, sir. So but what should potential investors look out for from this listing? Okay, um, I think this listing signifies um, two things, right? Um, or I'll just touch on two things that it signifies. I think the first is commitment, right? This is, this is a, a show of commitment on the side of the Lagos Free Zone, a commitment to the debt capital markets, to the investors who are supporting it on this journey, um, as it shows them that, look, this instrument um, will be listed on, you know, recognizable uh, public exchanges so that, you know, participants, there's liquidity and people could, you know, um, it, it gives it a bit of, you know, um, should I say, it adds to the credentials of, of the instrument and it helps, you know, um, confidence in anyone who's looking to participate either in the primary market for subsequent issuances or in the secondary market um, in, in the instrument. I think the second thing is um, liquidity, right? Because you know when it's listed on an exchange, people have the opportunity to you know sell, buy, sell, buy as their portfolios uh, deem it fit. Thank you. Mm -hmm.